very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking uh, just a kind reminder please before we proceed to the weekly analysis that I have decided to make a new step on my channel and that would be by creating one whole video for each pair on the weekly analysis so what I'm thinking now is I want to, re to replace the current weekly analysis video to split it into five or six videos explaining all the major pairs one by one alone um, the reason for that is to give me more space to explain each pair and look at the structure look at the patterns and explain more in depth for each pair uh, the current problem we have is with the timing of the videos I don't want the time of the videos to be so long so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to squeeze the analysis for each pair to be around two or three minutes so in the end the video will be about 15 minutes explaining all the pairs which doesn't really give me enough time to explain the pair so please help me guys to vote in the, in the Facebook and in the comments on YouTube as well if you want I just want to know what's your opinion about this do you like this idea or you don't prefer it do you like to keep the current system of the weekly analysis or do you like or do you support the idea of making one video every week every Saturday for every pair so there will be every Saturday five or six videos one video for each pair please uh, help me to vote there on the youth and the Facebook and YouTube comments as well it means a lot to me to know what do you think so let's start now with the weekly analysis and as usual let's start with the euro USD okay so looking at the euro USD we can see that the pair has failed to reverse from this resistance as I predicted in the last videos we can see the reversal happened right here and the resistance level on the the, res the resistance level on 1.11647 has not been breaking out and right now this is daily candles right now looking at the weekly candles this weekly analysis is telling me that the next week the pair is going in a bearish momentum so now what is the right thing to do for the euro USD okay so looking at the support level we can see that here we have a support and right here so most likely what will gonna happen the euro USD is gonna continue its bearish momentum until it hit this previous support level then it's gonna bounce all the way retest this previous resistance and then it's gonna be the best time to start shorting the euro USD and I think it's gonna continue falling down all the way until it hit this previous support level right here all right so let's make it clear the euro USD seems perfect to start sell right on this level let me just write it for you on the level 1.11079 uh, that's gonna be best level to start you know something I better maybe need to just write it sell so we can tell all right uh, another thing we need to analyze here is the trend line because as usual uh, we can follow the trend as you know and therefore we can see that the pair has actually failed to break out from this resistance trend line therefore the pair is actually falling down uh, what really gave it away as I'm telling you always if you want to know uh, the pairs direction in the long term always look at the bigger time frame so looking at the weekly candle looking at the weekly candle we can tell that this price action indicating a strong bearish reversal especially when it reverses from this resistance trend line and after failing to break from this trend line so most likely what will gonna happen the next candle is gonna go up here retest this previous uh, candle right here and then it's gonna go all the way to hit this previous support level right here remember that is weekly candles we're talking about therefore go back to the four hour chart it's really obvious that the pair has already reversing on the support level we can see this support level is gonna keep its position as a support I'm expecting Monday uh, the market will, will go up here to hit this previous resistance level and then I think it will be a perfect sell order for the euro USD so that is my signal for the euro USD is gonna be sell on the level one point sorry on the level 1.11079 let's check the pound USD uh, the pound USD uh, to be honest with you I predicted on the midweek analysis that it will reverse right on the support level uh, what happened is there was a reversal however it did not hold the position for a long time we can see on the one hour chart 
we had the reverse this is the support level and here we see that the candle has reversed indeed as I mentioned however it did not hold this position for a long time and immediately went down again so it went for almost 83 pips uh, in the direction I mentioned however right now the pound USD is going seems to be going on a bearish momentum but not for so long let's go to the daily candles right now look at the daily candles we can see that the pound USD is facing a really strong support level right here exactly like that like that perfect so this support level right here and right here and right here as well it's going to keep its position as a support which was also a previous resistance right here on this level of 1.2963 so the pound USD most likely is going to continue its bearish momentum just for a short time only for I think 30 yeah almost for 30 pips before it's gonna start this bull, uh, uh, bullish momentum and we can start buying the pound USD uh, just to be safe don't keep your trade running for quite a long time uh, if we're going to place the buy order right on the support level let's exit at the nearest resistance which was exactly right here and then the price action is gonna tell us what will gonna happen uh, if we are going to continue the buy order or not in my opinion to be honest with you in my opinion uh, the pound USD will continue rising all the way until hitting this previous support level right here we have here also a double bottom on the pound USD right now it's retesting this support level right here and right here and he right here as well most likely the pound USD is going to continue the bullish momentum for quite long time we're talking about more than 500 pips I think yeah 700 pips however I cannot go all this way in my analysis because that is way too risky and it's gonna take long time to be happened so for the meantime just keep your up your uh, buy order for the pound USD let's buy it on the level 1.29633 and keep your trade running until it hit this resistance right here let's be safe exactly right here so we are looking about 200 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all please don't get greedy and let me just tell you something um expect for the pair expect for the pair to go a little bit more down until this level right here so the trade maybe will go against you for almost 60 pips that's a lot of pips that's why we have to be careful when we are trading the pound usd because it is entering a strong support zone right here so better be careful um, I advise you to be very wise when you are uh, trading don't enter with big lots because it's gonna be risky however that is my analysis for the pound USD hopefully it will be good for everyone and we will gain good profit out of it let's look now at the AUD USD uh, AUD USD did not reach my buy level however it just continuing its bearish momentum uh, I don't sorry it's bullish momentum I don't think it's gonna keep it to be honest with you because on the weekly candles right now we can see the level is hitting this previous resistance right here and right now it's creating a resistance number two so we have here a resistance number one and right now the pair is hitting the resistance number two level um, there is no pattern telling me that the pair is going up at all there is no double bottom there is no head and shoulders there is absolutely nothing hinting me that the pair is going down and if you want to follow the trend we can see that the pair is still uh, still on the level of the resistance trend line here doesn't seem to breaking out of it especially seeing the weekly candle closed with this price action this price section is actually my favorite because it's indicating that the pair should actually make now the bearish reversal all right now that being said what's the right moment to start selling the AUD USD it's right here exactly right here let me just write it for you so we can s sorry whatever here just uh, sell hmm. sell the AUD USD on the level 0 0.69210 that would be actually a very good level to start shorting the AUD USD and we can keep the trade running let me just see until when uh, keep the trade running until it hit 
this support level here so almost 87 pips of profit of profit hopefully we're going to get them all so that is my analysis for the AUD USD <coughs> let's go now to the USD CAD okay so the USD CAD has reversed as, as I expected from this resistance however it doesn't seem to be going down below this support level uh, the reversal is strong and the price action is indicating a continuation in the bullish momentum especially seeing that we have a strong support level right here so we don't look of course we don't only look at the current support and resistance we always have to look at the past we all have we always have to study the pattern and the and the structure in the past to find what was the reaction of the pair on any selected support or resistance because as you all know already from my channel the support and the resistance levels they are permanent levels they are not cont not uh, temporary levels where we can see the reversal happening and that's it these levels are permanent so this level of the support level which has occurred in the beginning of 2019 is gonna keep its position right here and right here as a support and this one as well February 25th, 25th 2019 as a support is gonna keep its position as a support now that being said daily candles we can expect for the pair to continue its bullish momentum and it's gonna fly all the way up and all the way up until it hit this previous resistance now the question is where should I place my buy order let's go to the four hour chart now on the four hour chart we can see that we have a better image to find the buy the buy level so let me see clearly just to be sure yes perfect look at that what I see actually right here perfect that is the very bottom of the support level and we can see it right here as well and we have here the bullish breakout candle this this price action indicating a bearish reversal I don't think it's gonna keep this reversal for a long time this support is gonna keep its position as a support and the pair will continue flying all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here so AUD USD should be good to start buying on the level 1.31354 that will be the best level to buy the AUD USD uh, everything will be followed with the midweek analysis video my friends however if you place your buy order on the AUD USD here you can keep the, the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance on the level 1.32510 so that is my analysis for the AUD USD did I say AUD USD? Oh my God! I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It is USD Canadian. Oh, USD CAD. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me for the mistake. It is USD CAD, not AUD USD. Please, guys. Okay, I will just write it here in the video editor. Anyway, USD CAD. That is my expectation for the USD CAD. Let's go now to discuss the USD GPY. So the USD GPY, uh, I thought it would go down to this level of the support, however it did not and it just reversed right on the support level right here. So now what is the next move? Let's go now to the weekly candles. Always analyze on the weekly candles to know what is your next move. Now, looking at the weekly candles, we can see that right now USD GPY is hanging on this resistance level for really long time. We're talking about months. Uh, since July 2019 it is hanging on this support uh, sorry on this resistance level and right here and right here so all in all the USD GPY has failed to break out from this resistance level and this candle right here this tiny candle doesn't mean at all by anyhow that there is a possibility of a breakout from this resistance level therefore my expectation for the USD GPY that is gonna fall down and I think uh, the right moment to start shorting the USD GPY like that let me just make sure actually what I'm when I'm aligning this the, uh, the the resistance line I'm just trying to match all the support and the resistance lines right here and right here and right here and here I'm trying to align it in a way to be perfect to give you the perfect entry so hopefully you will just have perfect entry and <laughs> really that was lame to say <laughs> I mean just in hope that I will give you the best entry so you will not miss a lot of pips or make ent uh, early entry that can accidentally make you lose a lot of money before start earning the profit so however 
and uh, let's better f wait for the USD GPY to rise a little bit more up for about 25 pips before we start shorting it and I'm expecting this is gonna happen uh, Monday opening because uh, we have this breakout candle and we have the support level so again we have this bullish breakout candle and we have the support level so most likely this support is gonna keep its position as a support and the USD GPY will continue flying up here only until hitting this resistance level before it's gonna be good to short right on the resistance so uh, USD GPY should be good to start shorting sell on the level 109.688 I really hope this is gonna happen because if it does that will give us really a lot of profit and let's exit the trade right on the support level let's not be greedy because we have the pair most likely seems to be uh, ranging on this level of the resistance as I said before we don't want to be hanging on the res on the consolidation uh, level or the ranging market that is really not advised at all in Forex um, if you want my opinion on the long term USD GPY is gonna come on okay USD GPY is gonna fall all the way until hitting this previous support level however I will not uh, give this long signal let's just stuck to this one right here and let's say USD GPY will fall for around 150 pips that should be good uh, profit hopefully we are going to get them all so let's look uh, now at my favorite pair which is the USD CHF uh, as you can see the USD CHF is reversing right on this support level here we can see the support level and if I'm not mistaken let me just um, align it together and I think yes right here so we can see that this support level has kept its position as a support however the bearish momentum seems to be much stronger and there is no candle indicating or any price action indicating that the pair is falling down uh, this resistance right here is very strong level as a resistance and I believe because now let, let me just explain why do I think this resistance level is so strong the reason is look at how many support attempts there was followed by this uh, resistance level there was at least four or even five attempts of the support on the very same level and then finally finally after the breakout happened the bearish breakout candle the market tried to go up here breaking out from this level however it failed for continuous of three days for three days we can see here the weeks one two three three weeks failed uh, to break out from this resistance level and we can see the the weakness of the uh, bullish momentum the weakness of the buyers the weakness of the bull the bulls to break out from this level therefore we can see that the market just continued to fall more and more down now it's creating the pullback right on this level I'm expecting for it to reach this level again and we will witness again another failure to break out from this resistance level and then the pair is gonna continue falling more down <sighs> so let me just uh, see on the four hour chart right here okay so on the four hour chart uh, we can short the USDCHF uh, starting from the level 0.98259 that will be actually better level to start shorting the USD CHF you can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level that should give us approximately 71 pips of profit uh, let's not be greedy I will follow it with the weekly analysis to tell you what will sorry with the midweek analysis to tell you what will gonna happen but for the meantime let's keep this uh, sell option uh, opened for the USD CHF let's now check the NZD USD we de I decided that we should include the NZD USD in the uh, pairs because it's one of the major uh, major pairs major pairs that we should actually start analyzing okay so looking at the NZD USD what we can see right now is we are facing a strong a strong resistance right here which has become a strong support level as well 
here it was a strong resistance and right here it was strong uh, support in the past now of course seeing these support and the resistance lines doesn't mean necessarily that we're going to witness a reversal or a breakout we have to look at the price action to decide what is our entry uh, because I just feel like some followers they are thinking that Salah is just analyzing based on support and resistance without being logic about the pattern and the structure however I'm a person who analyzing my entries based on the support and resistance plus price action all right so the price action on the NZD USD is telling me clearly that it is going down now let's let me tell you the reason first of all the first indicator on the price action is this pin bar now when you see the pin bar of course I don't need to say that this is a very strong level, strong price action indicating to sell the pair however that is not the only reason we can see the daily candles we have these two candles these two candles are actually one of the strongest and the best price action telling you that the pair is going to reverse this reversed hammer right here is one of my favorite price actions along with this one these two really with the combination of these two candles is giving you always the best entry for sell they indicating that the pair has reversed uh, sorry has failed to break out from this resistance and therefore is gonna be best to start shorting the NZD USD right on this level so NZD USD should be good to start selling right on the level 0.66055 now the question is how far can we expect the pair to fall down well not really for a long time because if we sell the NZD USD on this level we can expect for it to reverse right on this support level right here if I'm not mistaken yes right here I believe yes so we can look for almost 89 or 90 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all and hopefully the NZD USD is gonna reverse as I expected now let's look at the gold now the gold has been ranging for a really long time and it didn't yet reach the level where I expected for it to reverse so really I cannot uh, give any other signal for the gold because my expectation for the gold um, let me just look at the weekly candles the weekly candle is telling me that the gold seems to be going up from the support level however um, it's ranging you know the problem with the gold that it has been ranging for a really long time let me just look at the past if uh, there was any strong resistance right here let me just delete this line I will do it front of you so you can tell what I'm doing to analyze the chart to give you the best entry level oh yes yes exactly we had the support is sorry the resistance level right here and exactly yes so the gold seems to be going down after hitting this resistance level as I mentioned so yeah I remember now the signal was sell now we cannot uh, change the signal because the pair still did not reach the entry level where I mentioned that we can start shorting the gold so all we need to do is wait for th for this week hopefully the gold will reach the sell level which again let me just remind you it is on the level 1.1483.75 let's just be accurate and if we do sell the gold on this level let's exit the trade at the nearest support which is right here trust me don't be uh, hanging uh, selling the gold for a long time it is very sensitive for any world economic news any events any any tweet from mr trump can really change the whole gold direction so please be careful and if we sell the gold from this level and exit the trade on the next support we are looking for exactly 100 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all so again I really hope uh, this week will be profitable for everyone however I really have to mention that uh, Christmas is coming Merry Christmas to all my Christian friends uh, in this big family I have here and Happy New Year in advance for you my friends uh, Christmas is coming and the market will be almost closed and it will be very slow so in my expectation this analysis I'm giving you in this video 
it's not gonna occur until the next year or not cure I mean it's not gonna be finished until next year because the market will be almost closed um, for the holidays so however again uh, Merry Christmas to everyone in advance and I hope uh, the next days will be very profitable to you in the end I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching